Hi dear friends my name is Munawar Jaman I am here to discuss some topic related to strength of materials we know that strength of materials is an important subject for different competitive exams but many of the students getting low mark in this subject because they don't know the basic concept involved in the strength of materials so i am more concerned about to discuss the basic concepts and uh, today we are going to start poisson's ratio so let's start in 19th century the french scientist simon denis poisson was developed the concept of poisson's ratio by conducting experiment on different materials for the better understanding let's consider a bar of length l with a square cross section and sides b we are going to apply the force normal to the cross sectional area and which is tensile in nature so let's have a two dimensional figure for the simplicity with same length and same breadth the direction we are going to apply the force is known as longitudinal direction and uh, the direction perpendicular to the longitudinal direction is known as lateral direction so when we are going to apply a tensile force p into the bar we can see that the bar is undergoing deformation and uh, its size was elongated in the longitudinal direction and contracted in the lateral direction here we can see that the final length of the bar become l plus 2 delta l and the final breadth of the bar become b minus 2 delta b where delta l is the elongation in the longitudinal direction and delta b is the contraction in the lateral direction as we all know strain is changing dimension to original dimension by using that concept we can find the longitudinal strain that means longitudinal strain is equal to 2 delta l by l and uh, the lateral strain is minus 2 delta b by b because in the longitudinal direction the bar was elongated so the strain developed will be tensile but in the lateral direction the size of bar was reduced that means there will be a compressive strain so we added a negative sign to the lateral strain as per poisson for the for an isotropic material within elastic limit the ratio of lateral strain to longitudinal strain will be a constant which is known as poisson's ratio and uh, it is denoted by the letter mu in the equation poisson added a negative sign in order to make the poisson ratio as a positive value because we can see here that in the lateral direction the strain was compressive and uh, longitudinal direction strain was tensile so in actual we get a negative value but poisson made poisson ratio as a positive value by adding a negative sign to the equation this is the basic equation of poisson's ratio as i mentioned earlier the poisson ratio was applicable to isotropic material within elastic limit only because for the isotropic materials uh, the property of material will be same in all direction but for non isotropic materials these properties may change with respect to the direction so we can't apply poisson's ratio there similarly in elastic limit only the poisson ratio is applicable because uh, above the elastic limit the state was plastic state and uh, in the plastic state the strain in the lateral direction and longitudinal direction will not be a constant value it depends on many other factors so we can't use poisson's ratio there in that case we use another constant which is known as contraction ratio in earlier case we applied a tensile force to the bar now we are going to apply a compressive force to the bar so we can see that the size of bar increased in the lateral direction and size of bar reduced in the longitudinal direction so we can say there was a contraction in longitudinal direction and expansion in lateral direction so here also we can see the effect of poisson's ratio next is general range of poisson's ratio the poisson ratio generally ranges from minus 1 to 0.5 
and most of the materials falls between 0 to 0 0.5. The metals have a point sense ratio range 0 0.25 to 0 0.33. The cork, cork have a point sense ratio value 0. That means when we are applying a tensile force or compressive force in longitudinal direction, there is no contraction or expansion in the lateral direction. That's why the cork have a Poisson's ratio value 0. And for rubber, the Poisson's ratio value is approximately 0.5. That means when we are applying a longitudinal strain or longitudinal force, the strain developed in the lateral direction will be approximately half of the longitudinal strain. It's in Nowadays, we have some materials, they have Poisson ratio value as negative. Such type of materials known as oxetic materials. We discussed that in later part of this video. Now we are going to see the Poisson ratio for different materials. Already mentioned rubber have Poisson ratio approximately 0.5. The gold ranges from 0.42 to 0.44. Copper have 0.33. Aluminium have 0.32. Steel have 0.27 to 0.3. In the problems, we take the value of Poisson ratio for steel is 0.3. Similarly, cast iron have 0.21 to 0.26. Here we can see that for the main metals, the Poisson ratio ranges from 0.24 to 0.33 or 0.25 to 0.33. And an important material is concrete. Concrete have a Poisson ratio 0.1 to 0.2. In some books, we can see 0.25 also. And for glass, approximately 0.1 to 0.3. Cork have zero Poisson ratio. Next one is negative Poisson ratio materials or oxetic materials. These materials produce same nature of strain in both the longitudinal and lateral direction. That means when we are applying a tensile load to the oxetic materials, it produces tensile strain in longitudinal direction as well as lateral direction. That means it elongates in both longitudinal as well as lateral direction. Here we can see that when we are applying a tensile force P, then the size of bar is increasing in both direction. So the stra strain in both longitudinal and transverse direction as tensile. These are some examples of oxetic materials. They are oxetic polyurethane foam, living bone tissue, non-carbon nanotubes and alpha crystobalate. So this is the end of part 1 and uh, you can ask any queries by joining us on telegram. The telegram link was given in the description box. Thank you for watching and subscribe our youtube channel for more videos.